Former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh on Monday sought justice for the martyred Colonel Santosh Babu, who was killed in the clash with the Chinese troops in the Galwan Valley, urging the government not to count down by the threats and intimidations in dealing with the neighboring, permitting compromising with the territorial integrity in a statement. The former PM also sought to remind the government that this information is not a substitute for diplomacy or divisive leadership. The Congress had also been seeking answer from the Narendra Modi government over the violent clashes in which 20 Indian soldiers were killed and damage was also inflicted on the Chinese troops. Party leader Rahul Gandhi on Sunday referred to PM Modi as Surrender Modi, a day after accusing Prime Minister of having surrendered Indian territory to Chinese aggression. In his first remark on the Ladakh faced off, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh on Monday said Prime Minister Narendra Modi must be mindful of the implications of his words and cannot allow China to use them as a vindication of its position. The former Prime Minister reminded the government that this information is not substitute for diplomacy or decisive leadership. The truth cannot be suppressed by having planes allies sprout comforting but false statements. We call upon the Prime Minister and the government to rise to the occasion to ensure justice for Colonel B. Santosh Babu and our Javans who have made the ultimate sacrifice and resolutely defended our territory integrity, said Singh. To do any less would be a historic betrayal of the people's fate, said the former Prime Minister. Noting that the country is standing at the historic crossroads, Singh said that the government decisions and actions will have serious bearings on how the future generations perceive us. Those who lead us bear the weight of a solemn duty and in our democracy that responsibility rests with the office of the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister must always be mindful of the implications of his words and the declarations on our nation's security as also strategic and territorial interests, said former Prime Minister Singh. China is presently and illegally seeking to claim parts of the Indian territory such as Galwan Valley and the Pangyong Lake by committing multiple incursions between April 2020 till date. The Prime Minister cannot allow them to use his words as a vindication of their position and must ensure that all organs of the government work together to tackle this crisis and prevent it from escalating further, said Singh addressing PM Modi. This is a moment where we must stand together as a nation and be united in a response to this brazen threat, said former Prime Minister in his statement. Twenty Indian Army personnel were killed in a brutal attack by the Chinese military in the eastern Ladakh's Galwan Valley on June 15. Bureau Report